please hope that you're all really well. Uh, welcome to my October plans vlog. I am, I just realised I'm looking down here because for once I have written a plan of everything that I want to talk about because the last month, uh, if you watched the autumn and winter uh, fabric update video that I did a little while ago, you'll know we've had so many new fabrics in, which is amazing, but it also means that I have got so many ideas going around in my head. I'm trying to be really sensible about what I make this month because I want to streamline, streamline my wardrobe a little bit, like I've said, um, but it is just so hard. So I've written a few things down so that I don't get off track um, and start talking to you about the trillion other things that I want to make and probably won't get a chance to. Also, uh, the other reason I might look down a little bit is because... <laughs> I don't know if you can guess yet, but I've got some um, studio lights, which feels really, really strange. <laughs> um, because obviously now it's getting darker, and it's not actually so much for the vlog, although I'm really glad that I've got them, because it makes it a lot easier when I'm talking to you guys, because I'm often, um, like now I'm filming, and it's about quarter to seven in the evening, so obviously it's dark. Um, now that we are getting into autumn winter time um, but it's actually a lot easier for product photos so it's really important that you can get the photos of the fabric that goes on the website as accurate as possible um, and with the the sort of darker weather it is so hard to do them if you can see under the cutting table over there there's another load of fabrics that um, have come in over the last day or two and I just haven't had a chance to photograph them because the light has been so bad but that does mean that I now have these two massive spotlights that feel like they're brighter than the sun so um, I can't actually see straight at the moment but it's all good I'm glad that you will be able to see me properly and the um, uh, fabric colours and everything should show up a lot better so let me know in the comments if you can tell a difference and if you think it is worth me blinding myself um, so this is the first week that I don't think I've been to a sewing related show we have the Handmade Fair and the uh, Great British Sewing Bee Live over the last couple of weeks but um, obviously because I can't get enough of shows I did go to a completely different type of show at the same place that GBSB was at the Excel in London this weekend and I took my mum uh, or me and my sister took my mum to the uh, great no it's called the cake and bake show cake and bake show so obviously there are a lot of um, very excitable cake makers out there and off the back of um, Great British Bake Off and sort of all the uh, amazing um, occasion cakes that are around it was just a show full of cake basically but as I don't need an occasion cake I spent my money on gin and chocolate and cheese so, <laughs> so um, strangely I spent more money at the cake and bake show than I did at the handmade fair and the uh, GBSB live combined but um, I didn't buy any cake but it was really good and if you are interested in um, cake creativity then go and check out my Instagram because I put some photos up of the like these cakes are just amazing they're works of art they're unreal it's like sculpture not cake um, so I thought some of you might find that interesting so if you want to go and check those out go and have a look at my Instagram page and what else have I been up to this month? We have a new, or this week even, uh, we have a new person coming to join me um, to work in the shop alongside me and Susie which is amazing because um, they'll be packing more of your orders and helping out more in the shop which is going to give me some more time to uh, keep pushing the business forward and develop some of the new things that I want to develop so that's really exciting I can't wait she starts tomorrow actually so yeah 
that's really exciting. Um, and then I also mentioned to you last week that we had hit 2,000 subscribers on here, um, 3,000 on Instagram, and that I was going to do a giveaway, which we are going to do. So I will do that at the end of the video. So keep keep watching um, to find out how you can enter that because it's a good one. Thank you to everyone who has signed up to One Week One Pattern for um, November. Uh, over 70 people have signed up in the first week which is amazing and I'm so excited seeing all of the um, pattern pledges that are coming in and it is really really interesting there hasn't been a huge amount of repeats yet there are a few fairly sort of um, popular ones but there's not that many there are so many different pattern ideas and pattern companies that people are choosing it is absolutely fascinating I'm going to compile all of the um, data so that you guys can see which pattern companies are most popular which pattern types people think that they are um, going to be using Using, um, because it's really interesting. Trousers, I don't think anyone has pledged to use a trouser pattern yet. This, oh, I think maybe one person has pledged to, to make um, trousers. Um, and there's a few skirts, mostly tops and dresses, I guess because they're easier to hack into different varieties or obviously if people have already got lots of those versions. But yeah, if you haven't yet, um, I had a read of the blog post to find out what it's all about. It's a really, really good, um, I don't want to call it a competition, challenge. It's a really, really good challenge. So I will put a card in up here to link to the blog post for how you can sign up. But even if you don't want to take part, just go and have a read at some of the pattern ideas because it is really, really interesting. And I've already discovered loads of pattern companies that I haven't um, heard of before. So check that one out. And then another thank you. I just want to say a really quick thank you. I had a customer that came in um, to the shop a couple of weeks ago, a lovely lady called Janet. And she bought me a little present which is so cute and I just wanted to show them to you because they are so lovely um, so these are little coasters and they're wooden coasters and they're in the shape of buttons and I just thought that was really lovely and then um, yeah I just wanted to show them to you because I know lots of you will like button coasters they're by Sass and Bell and um, just say a really big thank you Janet because it was really kind of you um, Thank you so much. I feel like I've been really sensible this month with my choices. Um, looking at the fabrics that I've got here, I think they all blend together fairly well. There's quite a few neutrals. I've talked a lot about wanting to add some more staple pieces to my wardrobe. So this month I don't have um, any sort of big events as such. Um, and I, I don't have any parties or weddings. So it's quite a quiet month for me. So I don't have to panic so a dress. Although, that being said, we are taking part in So Saturday on Saturday the 21st of October, which is a big event. Um, it's run, with, uh, run by So Magazine here in the UK, and it's basically to um, get people to go out and champion their local fabric shop. So, obviously, I absolutely adore our website. The website came before the shop for us, and we have customers all around the world, and I think you're all amazing. Um, but So Saturday Today is um, about the sort of help, guidance, customer service, um, fabric stro stroking opportunities that you get um, when you go and visit your local fabric shop. And um, they're encouraging everyone to go down on Saturday the 21st of September, sorry, of October. <laughs> Saturday the 21st of October and visit their local fabric shop um, so we're taking part in that and we're doing little mini workshops and um, skills demos and there's special offers going on and obviously glasses of fizz and cake um, so we are taking part in that and I will put the details of that down below so if you are able to come and visit us then please do it would be so nice to see you um, but if you're not local to us and obviously I know lots of you around the world watch this um, but if you can't get to us then maybe go and see your local fabric shop and show them some love on Saturday the 21st. Since we opened the shop I get lots and lots of comments from people that come in and say how nice it is to see a new fabric shop and how much people love coming to um, an actual shop so if you get a chance and you do have a fabric shop near you even if it isn't us please go and see them and show them some love so that um, more and more of us can um, keep 
selling you fabric and keep bringing you all the lovely gorgeousness that we want to um and i think so saturday is such a brilliant initiative so yeah either come down and see us or go and see your local fabric shop did i say that enough times i think so go um okay so i was saying about that because i am going to make a dress for that um if i can find the time that being said i do have quite a few new dresses at the moment so i don't feel like it's an absolute urgent requirement for me to make a new dress because i've got lots of dresses that i've made over the last couple of months and i haven't really had a chance to wear them more than once or twice so if I don't get a chance, I won't be too sad, but I am planning to make another Avid Seamstress day dress. I'll pop a picture of the pattern up here, and I want to do it with a slightly more scoop neck than the last version, and with three quarter length sleeves. And we have the most gorgeous cotton lawn that I want to show you. So, this is it's still on the bolt because it literally just came in today and i haven't had a chance to cut it but this is can you see it's a really large scale print with stalks on it a black background and then there's also the floral element to it too and um, i just love these stalks and i think because it's black i'll be able to wear it with tights and cardigans um sorry next time i will make sure everything else is cut off of the bolt but that one's quite hard to maneuver around um but it's just so gorgeous and yeah because it's black i think i can wear it with tights and um a little cardigan and it will take me through um autumn winter as well i think i will probably end up wearing a slip underneath it because of the cotton lawn um is obviously slightly thinner uh, for when it gets a bit colder but yeah i just love that i will uh link it down below uh, same as i do with all of the other fabrics but that's the first one and that is going to be a day dress i'm going to try and do it in time for say saturday which is on the 21st so in 11 days time but we shall see <laughs> i am not i say this now i am not going to be up at four o'clock in the morning the night before say saturday sewing a dress I'm just not going to do it. We'll see. Uh, okay, so something a little bit more classic, I suppose, now. So a couple of weeks ago, we got in the most beautiful wools. Absolutely stunning. I think I showed them to you in the fabric um, update video that I did a few weeks back, and they're called Argyle. Or Argyle, sorry. Um, and they were lots of different um, ombre, square... Ombre, 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 hmm, graduated colours. <laughs> um, and I took a little bit of the slate colour to make myself a skirt. So I'm going to do a really simple um, self-drafted skirt just using my skirt block um, and some darts and then I'm going to, I'm not going to do a waistband because I don't want to add any bulk, I'm just going to face it and line it um, with some of our lovely lining that I showed you in that previous uh, fabric video too. So um, I'm going to do that and then put a little zip at the back I think. Maybe at the side, but no, I think a, a centre back zip will go in there. Um, we ran out of this wool within about 48 hours, um, but we do have some that is now coming, um, and it will be arriving just in time for So Saturday, actually. So um, I think it's coming in on the 20th of October. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up for pre-order on the website. So those of you that have been waiting for it to come back in, you can order and then um, we'll obviously cut your pieces first before we put the fabric out into the shop. Um, and that's the same for the slate colour, the fuchsia colour and the um, the blue that we had so we do have a tiny bit of the slate so i think there's a meter left maybe two meters and um, again i think it's about a meter and a half of the blue that are left on the website now um, so i will link those down below but then um, it will go to pre-order ready for when it comes in but i just thought this is such a great print because it's wool um, and it's unusual to get um 
a nice print like this on wool um, and also because it's got the different shades and it goes again it goes to black so you can wear it with tights and I'm thinking I can make it a real sort of staple piece that I can pair with black jumpers I could wear cardigans with it um, yeah I am aiming to get lots of wear out of this one and actually um, I've only taken a metre because if I if I just do a facing, no waistband, keep it very straight um, on the skirts, that will be plenty. So that's that one. Now, the other fabric that I'm going to be using this month is our Charlotta uh, Viscose Blend Ponte. It's an embossed ponte and you can see the colour there. It's a lovely... Move that so it doesn't... Ooh. the lights that are brighter than the sun are doing something strange to the lighting there but yeah it's a navy colour and um, I am thinking that I am going to make a paper cut pattern Sephora coat now the, the coat is obviously designed I'll pop um, a picture in here I fell in love with this coat when I saw it it's a cocoon coat sort of cocoon shape but it's got those gorgeous slanted um, pockets which I think just I, I really really love the the design even though it's really simple and um, obviously it's designed for a, a more structured fabric like a wool um, but I'm thinking and it's and the pattern is actually lined but I'm thinking that I I wanted to make like a coatigan out of this fabric because it is um, like a heavier weight ponte and actually if I do that you can almost see how it is quite textured and quite thick and I've seen quite a lot of um, sweatshirts made from this so Susie made a linden sweatshirt from it and it's absolutely gorgeous Amanda made a toaster sweater from it and again it's really lovely and I've seen lots of you on Instagram that have bought it from us and have made um, jumpers and sweaters I was going to make a cardigan with it but actually I've decided I want to go more for the kind of coatigan vibe um, because although it's quite, <coughs> excuse me, autumnal, it's still not freezing and I'm thinking I could wear this with jeans and boots and just chuck it on um, when I don't need a, a, a whole big coat but um, obviously the pattern is designed for wavens, <coughs> sorry gradually throw it again. Uh, the pattern is designed for wavens and it's lined so I'm going to do it without the lining and I think if I stabilise the seams with ribbon or um, stay tape something similar um, and just overlock um, all of the seams I am hoping that that will give a more sort of casual version. Obviously it won't look quite as structured as it does in this picture, but my plan is that if that goes well and I like it, then next month we have um, some other gorgeous wool. We've got a cashmere blend um, wool in purple in at the moment, and I'm thinking that I will make the full coat, lined coat version, but um, I want to try it in this because I just love this fabric and I have been arming and arming for weeks about what to make in it. And I I don't know why, I feel like I might, <laughs> I might regret using it for a coat again because maybe I won't get as much wear out of it, but it does get cold in the shop inside sometimes, so um, I think it'd be nice to have a more structured sort of cardigan to wear um, <clears throat> whilst I'm in the shop. I'm just going to have some water. But yeah, this fabric is just gorgeous. It is, um, as I say, it's embossed and textured, which I absolutely love. And it's a viscose blend, so it's super soft. Um, so it's got a nice amount of weight to it, but it's not um, too heavy. Um, <clears throat> I was even thinking of making a pencil skirt version because we have... Um, the Charlotta in black now as well which again I will link down below so if you really like this but you think you would prefer it in black um, we have and I think I will probably use some of the black to make myself a linden sweatshirt because I just all seeing all of the jumpers and sweater versions in this has just made me very very jealous so I'm, I'm thinking I might make two makes out of this but one in the navy and one in the black this month 
Um, and then, speaking of cardigans, obviously this month is um, the Cozy Cardigan Challenge month. I think you've got till the end of October to enter that. Um, we're sponsoring it with a voucher and so are lots and lots of other uh, places so there's loads of prizes that you guys can win and um, the idea is that you obviously make a cosy cardigan and it's being run by Amanda from I Sew A Lot and the lovely Stitch Sisters um, and you can check that out on Instagram and again I will uh, link the hashtag down below. Now my uh, plan for the challenge, although I won't be entering as such um, but I want to take part and I want to make a cardigan is to make the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan which I will pop a picture up here um, I think me and maybe 50% of the other participants um, it does seem to be a really really popular pattern um, it's PDF only but I um, use net printer and have got it all printed out so I don't need to stick anything together which is brilliant um, and I just really like the long line shape of it, um, looks really casual but I like the fact that it's not too bulky so it's not designed to meet in the middle um, it's just uh, a fairly sort of nicely fitted cardigan so um, I wanted to give that a try but um, I don't really not that I don't like Ponty cardigans but I just wanted something that was a bit more similar to what I would buy ready to wear so and um, quite a few of you said the same thing over on Instagram that you were really keen to get some more sort of fine knits um, to make your cardigans from so I did manage to track some down with um, our suppliers and I have got this one which is what I'm going to use for my cardigan so this is called Asta and it is, I'm going to hold it up and do my impression, but it's a black and white uh, fine knit and you can see it's really soft, it's a viscose blend um, and actually the print runs that way um, and yeah just really lovely fine knit with it and I don't know how that's going to show up on camera because obviously with the black and white stripes sometimes that makes the camera go funny but um, it's a really soft really drapey knit fabric and we also have um, the fine knits in a purple a uh, merlot sort of burgundy colour and also a grey um, mull with sort of black flecks in it so if you're looking to make a cardigan and you don't want Ponty but you want more of the um, traditional knit style cardigan then again I will link those down below and I'm thinking that for the Blackwood I'm going to um, do the main part with the fabric going the right way which is downwards like this and then for the band that goes round it I'm thinking I will switch it the other way so that the lines will go in the opposite direction um, but we shall see how I get on with that and also there's pockets so I might move those to face a different direction as well just to make it a little bit more interesting um, but again because it's black and white it will go with everything and that is my plan at the moment is to try and make things that I think I can match with at least one or two other things in my wardrobe we shall see how that goes so that's that one so those have all been fairly, I suppose, sensible fabrics, sensible suggestions. Um, I've got the grey, I've got the monochrome, I've got the navy, um, and although there are some lovely prints and textures in there, and then obviously the stalk print fabric as well, um, I thought I didn't have quite enough fun um, going on this month, so I have chosen possibly the most fun fabric ever um, and if you follow me on Instagram you will recognize this and I'm going to try and get this to focus in Ta -da! Um, this is a cotton lawn and I absolutely love it um, I ran a little competition a quick uh, giveaway competition on Instagram and Facebook uh, this week when the fabric came in because I couldn't decide what to call it you see it's got all these lovely ladies in their turquoise and yellow um, uh, negligees you might call them and their hair in rollers it's sort of like a sketch design and it's a really lovely soft fine lawn um, but it's not completely see-through which is wonderful um, and there were loads and loads of suggestions and some of them 
<laughs> Some of them were hilarious. Um, well, lots of them were hilarious, actually. Um, and I only wish I could have used all of them um, because, yeah, they they did really, really make me chuckle. Um, if you haven't had a look, go back to the original post where I posted this photo on Instagram and have a read through the suggestions. I think there are about 70-something entries on there and over on our Facebook page um, there are even more. But the winner um, suggested uh, Beauty School Dropout and I thought that was pretty perfect. So this is listed on the website now and it's called Beauty School Dropout. And it's just so fun. It just really, really makes me smile. I think the colours are really nice. Again, I'm just trying to, because now I have these massive lights, I feel like the light is bouncing off of the lighter, the lighter colour. But yeah, it's really fun. There's loads of drape in it, so it would make a really nice like blouse or something. But I think um, I'm going to be a little bit tamer at the moment, and I'm going to make some. I'm going to make some pajama bottoms out of it. Um, I also thought it would make an amazing robe, like uh, maybe the uh, Gather Buchanan robe or the Suki kimono um, by Helen's Closet. Um, it would just be such a fun, fun print um, to make a robe from. Um, but again, you could, as I say, you could make a blouse from it. The colours are really, really pretty and it's so unusual that everyone will be asking where you got it from. But this month I am just going to stick to some pyjama bottoms and I will probably just use a self-drafted pattern for those. Um, or I might even use the pyjama bottoms from Tilly and the Buttons Love at First Stitch book. Um, just because then it saves me having to draw the shape out. But PJs are great. P uh, PJ bottoms are a really great um, quick make. So I'm thinking I might even be really good and French seam everything. Uh, because I want these to last because uh, every time I look at this fabric it makes me smile. But I will link that down below and do let me know if you would make something different from pyjamas or a robe um, out of this. Do let me know in the comments what you think it would be good for because um, I I am not done with this fabric. I'm making the PJ bottoms this month um, but I have every intention of making something else with it. Um, later on so I'm going to put some aside which is really naughty but I'm going to so yeah leave your comments down below and let me know what else you would make with this one so there you go so there are my one two three four you can see I pile these up really neatly after I finish talking to you and then uh, the one that's still on the bolt uh, five fabrics for this month and five plans so um, I think that's plenty to be getting on with because as we know I'm struggling for time to sew at the moment but I absolutely love doing these vlogs still and I've got every intention of continuing to do them even if it means that I don't always get everything that I plan to do done because it gives me um, a bit of focus and a bit of motivation to sew because although I absolutely love sewing, obviously now having my full time business um, as sewing, it means that I don't actually get to do it as often as I used to and it's nice to be able to say to myself right actually I'm going to set aside a couple of hours because I want to show you guys what I've made um, so although I, I don't ever want to get to the point where I'm making things just for the sake of making things just to stand up and show you what I've done um, I do really enjoy doing them and I really love all of your comments and your feedback and as I said before I'm really really grateful <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm really, really grateful for um, all of the support, the kind words, the comments. I love chatting to you guys, um, and of course to everybody who has subscribed. Which is why I do want to do a giveaway this month to celebrate us reaching our 2,000 subscribers on here and 3,000 over on Instagram. So I am going to give away a 50 pound fabric voucher for satisfaction. Um, it's a uh, worldwide giveaway so you don't have to be based in the UK and as well as a £50 voucher which you can use for any of the lovely fabrics that we've got in store. I also wanted to pop in um, another couple of my favourite things so I'm going to pop in a 
Make Arcade uh, pincushion, donut pincushion sewing kit. We've just started stocking the Make Arcade kits and they are so cute and I love them. Um, and this one I thought would be not just cute but quite useful too. So I'm going to pop one of those in. Um, I'm also going to pop in a pair of, a new pair, um, of the rose gold scissors that we use here in the studio. We sell them on the website as well, but um, everyone that comes to classes here absolutely loves the rose gold scissors. So I will pop in a pair of your very own rose gold scissors to whoever wins. And then something else which I find really, really useful is um, a maker's workbook. I can't remember if I've talked about these on here or not, but it's um, basically a planner where you can record all of your makes um, and then each time you put in a make you can record things like your measurements, what sizes you've made, um, any adjustments that you've made, you can even put in a little fabric swatch um, and there's enough for I think 20 makes in here um, and then at the back there's um, space to do some designs and things like that. Again, I'm struggling to work out the lights. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, but yeah, I find that really useful and I am already, um, well, I think I've filled one pretty much. Um, and I have um, my next one ready to go. And it's a really nice way to keep track of what I've made and look back at um, all of the things that I've done and, and it's good because I often have a habit of making alterations as I go and then I don't write on the pattern piece but what I'll do is I'll write it in here and then I can go back and have a check. So I find that really useful and I thought that that would be a nice prize for um, the winner to have. So you'll get a £50 voucher, a maker's workbook, a pair of the rose gold dressmaking scissors and a make arcade donut pincushion sewing kit um, and to enter all you need to do is make sure that you are subscribed to our channel um, so you can hit the subscribe button around here and then I would just love it if you would leave me a comment to tell me why you sew um, because I find it really really interesting um, when I'm chatting to people in the shop and talking to people online Everyone has so many different reasons and um, there are a lot of common themes but I just find that really interesting and I would really love to hear a little bit more about why you guys sew. Um, so there's no, there's no right or wrong answer um, but I would really love to, to hear a little bit more about that. So if you would like to enter please do leave me a comment, tell me why you sew. You can also get another entry if you go over onto our Instagram page. Comment on the Instagram post over there and you'll get another opportunity to enter and as I say it is worldwide so wherever you are you can enter and good luck I think it's a really good opportunity to grab some gorgeous gorgeous fabric and some of my uh, current shop favorites so I will put the details again in the post down below just in case you're not certain but uh, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this week's vlog I hope that you will subscribe uh, as I say hit the button um, even if you don't want to enter the competition and uh, give us a thumbs up if you've liked the video and I will see you again next week for another dose of sewing goodness. Have a good week guys, bye!